Hello everyone, welcome to this new tutorial. I'm Nerdy Talking and today I will be showing you how to write a very basic move to click script so you can implement it in your games. But before we start, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to check my other tutorials. Okay, to begin I have this very basic scene with a player that has no behavior. So let's start by adding our script. In order to do that, just click the player, add component, and let's name the script something like move to click, create an add. And now we just open the script and we are good to start coding. There are basically three steps that we need to accomplish for this tutorial. The first one is to get the click event. The second one is to uh, get the cursor position when the mouse was clicked. And finally, we need to move our game object, our player, to that position. So let's start with the first step, that is also the easiest one. And basically we just need to know when the user clicked the mouse button. And to do that, I'm going to use an if statement and I'm going to check using input dot get mouse button down. And to indicate that I'm referring to the left mouse button, I use a zero. And for the moment, I will write a debug.log to see in the console and verify if we are actually getting the event correctly. So let's go back to the editor, we click play. And now when I start clicking on the screen, uh, I can see in the, in the console that we are logging the click message. And that's basically it with the first step. Now the second step is to actually do something when the user clicks the mouse and in this case what we need to do is to calculate the position of the cursor when the user clicked the mouse so let's put this inside of the if statement and i will create a new variable it will be private vector3 and i will call it target position and this is where I'm going to store the position of the mouse. And in order to do that, let me create a method. We can name it calculate target position. And now I need to actually create the method. It will be private void. And now we just need to get the mouse position. And to do that, we just need to use the input class again. So let's make target position equal to input dot get mouse position. And let's check what's the value that we are getting from this property. So in order to do that, let's move this debug log and we can change the message. And instead of the message, we will log the target position variable. So now we go back to the editor, we hit play. And now when I start clicking in the screen, I see in the logs that I get a vector three position. But if you see closely, when I'm clicking on the center, I get a vector three with actual values. And I should be getting a zero, zero, zero. As you see, the game object has a zero, zero, zero position. But in the log, I see that the, the position that we are logging is not the zero position. And this is because the mouse position is expressed as a screen position and we need to convert it to a world position. And that's pretty easy to do. We just need a reference to our camera. So let me create a private camera and I will name it main camera. And inside of the start method, I need to initialize it. So main camera is equal to camera dot main camera. And now that we have our reference to the camera, let's go back to our method. I will store our original mouse position in a new variable called mouse position. Now I'm going to create a new variable. 
name transform position and inside of this value what we are going to do is get our main camera and we will use the method screen to work point and as a parameter we are passing the mouse position and this will return us the position expressed as a world position so now we just need to set our target position equal to a new vector 3 and we get the transform position dot x transform position dot y and a zero for the set axis since we are just working in 2d so now let's go back to the editor and we can make the same test i'm going to hit play and now when i click in the middle i get the vector zero and also when i click in any other position i get the position expressed as a word position that is what we are actually looking for so now we just need to move our player to that position that we calculate and to do that, we need to create a new method that I will name move to target and I will call it from outside of the if statement and inside of the update method. Since we want uh, this moment to be called every frame, no matter if the user is pressing the mouse button or not. So let's make it private void move to target, no parameter and as a first approach i will just get the transform dot position and i will make it equal to the target position that we calculated and now we can go to unity and make a quick test so hit play and let's start clicking and whenever i click i see that the player actually moves but it is actually teleporting so let's back to the script in order to fix that and to do so we will need a movement speed value so let's create a serialized uh, field of type float and i will call it a uh, movement speed and now we just need to go to our move to target method and now instead of using the target position we will replace this with a vector3 move to towards method and in here we need three parameters the first one is our current position or the origin then the target and a max distance delta that is how much we are moving towards that position so as an origin we get our transform position then the target position and for the delta i will use time dot delta time times the movement speed value that we just created now we can go back to unity and we need to set the value for the movement speed so select the player game object and look for the movement speed value and let's try with a value of 100 hit play and this seems a bit fast so let me change it to i don't know like 10 once again hit play and now we see that the player moves instead of teleporting and now there is one extra improvement that we can do and it is to rotate our player so it points towards the mouse position also so it not only moves but it looks to the to the position and this is quite easy so let's do it we will create a new method called rotate to target and we will call it just after we move so after move to target and this is also going to be a private void uh, method and inside of the method all that we have to do is to first get the direction and we get it as a difference between our our target position and our current position this is going to return us a vector that represents the direction from our current position to the target position 
So all we have to do is grab our transform and set the right value to be equal to this direction vector. Now we save and we go back to Unity for a quick test. We hit play. And now when we click in the screen, we see that the player not only moves, but it also points towards the direction that it is moving. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and you learned something. If you have any doubts or suggestions, as usual, please leave them in the comments section. And finally, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel.